remember a case study from my freshman year. Really turned my head around. You have two sales reps working for a sales manager, and one's doing exceptionally well, meeting his quota. The other is continually not meeting his quota and just seriously going south at a very quick pace. What do you do? So you're just going to go over briefly each one, each of the five? Probably 75% of the students, including myself at one point or another, would say, fire the guy before he loses more sales and more money and get him replaced and move on. Let's start for a second and take a look at what we've said here. And then I remember learning that, yes, that's one of your available solutions. But on your list of solutions, that's probably the tenth available solution you should make as a sales manager. Any other policy statements, guidelines to help them in You're working with real life situations and real life problems. And you have to come up with real life solutions. It's very, very challenging. That's what Bentley does. It challenges you. Why did I choose Bentley in the first place? I looked at the facts. First of all, I liked the size of the school. Not so big that you'd be lost, but not too small either. It seemed manageable to me. I liked that it was close to Boston. Not right in the middle of the city, but not too far away either. I knew I wanted a school with an outstanding business program, but with a real commitment to liberal arts too. And if you're talking about the governor of the state, it seems to me that so did I make the right decision? Sure. I had a great four years at Bentley. Did I know all there was to know about Bentley? No way. The facts never tell you the whole story. And the second way is to control its effects. Now that's still true. In other words, when we're dealing You know who taught me the most about how the world works? My government professor. By far the most challenging teacher I had in four years at Bentley. Somebody give me a two-bit definition of foul. I really like the personal contact with my teachers. Um, I like the yeah. interest that they like show the in me. Or if you wanted to major in some business area, like in communications or in management or marketing, mm -hmm. you could minor in business. I feel really comfortable with them because they're enthusiastic the about relationships outside of the classroom and really helping and understanding me. Do you think that that position is right? I can see where some people can say that corporation is just to make money. The only way they can make money, though, I think, is if they do um, pay attention to their the workers' needs. Hi, Chris. Oh. Hey, we can be vice presidents. Want some dinner? Yeah. 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 Want some dip with those chips? It doesn't look like it's closed. It's done. Remote control. The friends I made my freshman year. A good half of them are still my best friends five years out of school. If I had just gone to class and, and studied and sort of kept to myself more, I just, I never would have developed the kind of friendship. There were over 75 organizations, a student organization. Kind of group beyond academics has definitely been a great... I'm involved with the radio station on campus, uh, WBTY. This next tune is by a group called The Pursuit of Happiness. It's called I'm an Adult Now. Why did they see them as helpless? Remember, these are the people who once owned them. So you see there are layers of this um, relationship. Okay? Yes. Bentley's business departments are excellent. No doubt about it. But to me, one of the best things about Bentley is the strength of all of its other departments as well. That's what really sets it apart. The guy's no fool, okay? It dawned on him that, wait a minute, this... I'm looking into the mind of the Chinese educated class, and this is how they think. I think and in order to contact, succeed in the business world, you can't be uh, strictly business. You need to know about other things that are going on in the world. And I think that the liberal arts program here... Some of my favorite that. teachers are the liberal arts teachers. They're interested in a lot of things. <laughs> the business world is really a global marketplace these days. And Bentley has a worldwide reputation. Part of this is because of its internationally recognized center for business ethics. It also has a truly internationalized student body. We have students from over a hundred countries here at Bentley now. I myself am from Brazil. It's very interesting when you with people who come from such different backgrounds together. It kind of opens your eyes to, well, there's a lot more going on in this world than what happens in business. And in fact, 
a lot of those other things have a direct effect on what's happening in the business world. Je les ai visités pour trois jours. Family gives students a chance to study abroad. I chose to go to Strasbourg, France for the summer. It was wonderful. Probably my best experience so far. I was the first person to study at Oxford University. I was there with students from Yale, Harvard, Princeton. And um, I did just as well, if not better, than most of them as far as grades. I'm through. Studying is very, very important. But we have our free time, and for those who like to, who are involved with the theater, it's a really, it's a perfect getaway. You buried it under the mashed potatoes. I know your tricks. Now this is really going to break up the page. I don't know what we want to run though. Which story's going another. here? The the Vanguard is Bentley's newspaper, and it comes out every Thursday, and it covers mostly school events. I'm the president of the Bentley Student Union Society, and we helped uh, organize a vigil in support of human rights. It was great. A lot of warm hearts. We played intramurals together as a floor, which was probably the best thing of all. We got psyched for every game and had a blast every game, and lost most of them, but we still had a great time. Sports is a great way to, to relieve a lot of pressure, a great Freshman way Freshman year and part of sophomore year, I was a tennis player. I played in one That's the whole learning process right there, being able to be in an environment where you can do physical things and mental things. And so I'm going to call out um, a type of person, some, just a general type of person. Bentley professors are first-rate teachers. And what's more, a lot of them have consulted with Fortune 500 companies. You have two choices here. One is to come up with the total. For a young person to be successful at a young age, you've got to be a quick learner. And you have to be willing to take risks and make decisions for yourself and for others. Well, we do have three days left, so I'll try to get a group of people together and try to make those sales possible. A good leader knows how to listen, knows how to take action. Leadership isn't really so mysterious. It's not necessarily something you're born with, it's something you develop. Bentley isn't really just a matter of classes. They actually put you out in the real world in internships. These internships involve going into real companies involved in real world problems that give you your own responsibilities important yeah, to bring in new design. clients because that's okay. the lifeblood of our business. I'm actually helping brokers do their own work. I'm really bringing new customers into the business. It's a lot of fun. I really do enjoy it. I think it's great that all students have their own laptop computers. I mean, I live and die by my laptop today in the business world. With freshmen using them right from the start, by the time they get out in the business world, they'll be light years ahead of the people I work with today. Day one in the class, we started off with assertions. Most seniors believe that they're absolutely ready to take on the world. They think that everybody wants them to come work for them. It doesn't exactly happen that way. But the on-campus job placement people smooth the way. Of course, when you land your first job, you're not exactly the top man on the totem pole. That's when all you learned in college really begins to kick in. I know that if I hadn't gone to Bentley, I would definitely not be as successful in business as I am today. But you know what? Even though the classes at Bentley were great, I'm most thankful for the total experience. That's what Bentley's really all about. <laughs>